Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Facker, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of the Candida range of dietary supplements. Today we're going to talk about prebiotic foods. What are the best prebiotic foods? What are the best foods to feed the beneficial bacteria? So the prebiotic feeds the probiotic. So there's a lot of misconceptions about fermented and cultured foods. I've got some notes here. I'm just going to read off some of my notes. So do these feed the microbiota? No, they don't. Do they repopulate the gut? They don't populate the gut. Okay. They can help to create an environment more conducive to allow beneficial bacteria to flourish, but they don't actually supply the gut with lots and lots of lactobacillus. And if they do put any bacteria down there, these basically very temporary uh, colonization of the gut. So they don't really work the way a lot of people think they do. And the colonization is only temporary as well. So many people will eat the wrong kind of foods, they'll drink alcohol, and then they'll eat a bit of sauerkraut or yogurt and think that that's how they can repair their gut. But it doesn't really work that way. So let's look at foods that nourish and restore the gut microbiota. What are some of the best foods? Well, these are whole plant foods. These are polyphenol-rich foods. These are prebiotic-rich foods. These are resistant starch foods. So these are foods that contain certain starches that allow the beneficial bacteria to feed on. So let's just jump right into that category now. Whole foods, minimally processed, predominantly plant-based diet. So we know that plants really help to feed up the gut. Meat doesn't do that at all. right? So let's jump into it. So what we're looking at are foods rich in oligosaccharides or a particular kind of sugar that feeds the beneficial bacteria. Note I said the word sugar, so not all sugars are going to feed candida. All right? Oligosaccharides feed the beneficial bacteria and not the candida. And when the beneficial bacteria gain the upper hand, the candida basically gets suppressed, the numbers get suppressed. So I want you to consume foods rich in fructooligosaccharides, inulin, so we call them the FOS foods, and foods rich in galacto-oligosaccharides, or the GOS foods. So the FOS and the GOS foods. So the FOS foods, Jerusalem artichokes, yacon tubers, burdock roots, dandelion roots, chicory roots, garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, and globe artichokes. Now Jerusalem artichokes can cause gas, and they call them farty chokes for that reason. So when you incorporate the FOS foods, you need to go very slowly into it to start with. Don't jump right into you know, eating a kilo per day because you'll produce massive amounts of gas. So it's particularly with the FOS foods, you need to have a very slow inclusion into the diet if you're not used to these kinds of sugars in your diet. The GOS foods are similar, but I don't find they create quite as much gas as the FOS foods. They will still create gas, but not as much as the FOS. So legumes brassica family vegetables, fresh beans, green beans are very good, beetroot, rye, or, um, rye sourdoughs I'm talking about, if you tolerate gluten, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds are also good, and linseed sunflower almond mix, which is what I, I like people to make up. So these are the sort of foods uh, to consume to really help to build up or fertilize, for want of a better word, the beneficial bacteria. So these are the FOS and GOS foods that I talk about a lot in my other videos. Don't forget also that when you include these kinds of foods into your diet, it pays to chew food properly and to make sure you don't consume alcohol, preferably not for several months if you've got candida, that you understand the connection between stress and digestion. Also, taking a probiotic enzyme formula is going to really help these FOS and GOS foods as well. It's going to encourage them because you're going to put lots of beneficial bacteria in there and enzymes as well as these prebiotic foods. So it's a very good combination. Check out my Candida Restore. It's a product which I think you'll like and it, it works very well with the Candida diet and particularly well when you incorporate these kinds of foods into your diet. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for checking out my video today.